Have you ever wanted to create a multilingual or bilingual Squarespace website, but haven't been sure about the best way to go about it? In this video, I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to get translations all over your Squarespace website. So stay tuned if you want to find out what tool I recommend for my website design clients. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna. I am a designer and online educator at byrosanna.co.uk. And here on YouTube, I share videos about Squarespace, website design, business, productivity, all of that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So if you're a website designer or just someone who has got a Squarespace website and you've been wanting to add translations or other languages to your website, you might have had a dig around before to see what the different options are with it. Now, obviously, one option is that you could have multiple sites built with Squarespace for your different languages. But the issue with that is obviously you need to pay for two separate Squarespace plans. You would need to buy separate domains. You would also need to channel your marketing efforts into two different spaces. And if you want lots of different languages available on your website, then that means lots of different sites and that can add up and get really expensive. So really, that's not a very viable option, in my opinion. There's also the kind of built in solution that Squarespace explains in some of their help articles. They kind of suggest that you create a navigation menu with your language options at the top and then create those options as drop downs with the website pages underneath. But this doesn't look very good. It's not very user friendly. People aren't used to navigating a website based on hovering over languages and then getting the pages in a drop down. It's not really ideal. And also, if you do it this way, you're still left with things like system text. And if you've got e-commerce on your website, if people go to the checkout area, all of that will still be in English or whatever the main language of your website is. So it's not an ideal solution. They also sometimes suggest that you create a landing page like this so that people can choose which language they want to enter into. And then on the different pages, you create your own kind of sub menus and stuff like that. Again, that all can be done just with Squarespace's own features without any need for third party tools or any coding or anything, but it just isn't very user friendly. So again, not a very helpful option. There is, of course, also things like Google Translate, which you can install on your site and have Google automatically translate um, some of the text on your website. The problem with Google Translate is it's not always perfect and it's automatic translations, which you don't have control over changing. So sometimes if there's nuances or subtleties in your writing, it could be saying completely the wrong thing and getting across the wrong idea in another language that you don't know about. So what is the best way to add different translations to your website? My preferred tool that I recommend to my clients wanting to create a multilingual site is a third party tool called Weglot. Now I've got the link for this in the description. It is an affiliate link, which means I do get a little bit of a kickback if you sign up using my link. But hey, that's just a nice easy way for you guys to support my channel if you'd like to. So you can find the link in the description. But the great thing about Weglot is it's super easy to set up. It automatically translates all of the text on your website, including system text and checkout text and things like that. But you also have control over what those translations are. So you can go in and edit it as well. They have really, really reasonable pricing. You can even get up to 2000 words translated for free in one language on your website if you want to try it out. Um, but even from then, their kind of starter package, which should be enough for kind of a five to six page website, depending on how much text you've got, is very reasonably priced at around 10 euros per month. And with my experience using them as well, I found their support team to be super helpful as well. So once you've created your account, you can get started for free. Just give your project a name and then select Squarespace from their website technology list. Then what you need to do is just choose the original language that your website is set up in. In this case, it's probably going to be English if you're watching this video and then choose the translated uh, languages that you want. Um, I'm going to choose Spanish. Once you've added in the language, instead of clicking next, what you'll want to do is select use subdomain integration. This is the better option for SEO as what it does is create a separate subdomain for each language, which means that Google can index each subdomain in each of the different languages. So click on this. So here we just want to put in our website domain and select the languages again. 
and then it gives you some instructions on what to add as your DNS records to your domain. It's super easy and it does give you instructions on how to do this if your domain is with Squarespace. If it's not with Squarespace, you just need to go to the advanced DNS settings and add in a CNAME record. If you're unsure how to do this, depending on your domain provider, you can search or ask your support team um, how to add this, but it's very simple. Then just click check DNS and Weglot will give you the good to go if that has been added correctly. And then all you need to do is go to the confirmation section and then you're done. So once you've set everything up correctly, you should then be able to see a language picker on your website. Now, this is one that I have styled using custom CSS myself, but it will automatically appear there as long as everything is done correctly. This is a website I did recently for a client who wanted a bilingual site in English and in Welsh. So now you can see there is the language picker at the bottom. And if I select the Welsh option, it then refreshes and gives me everything in Welsh. That includes all the menu options, that includes all the text that's included, that also includes the checkout system as well if I went to go and check out. Everything is translated. So once you've set that up, you've got the um, little language selector there, then what you need to do is just go through each page and just make sure that you load it up in your language. And what this will do is add those loaded URLs to your Weglot dashboard. It looks something like this. You might have more languages than this, in which case they come down in different rows down here. But for this website, we've just got one translation, which is English to Welsh. And you can see we've got around um, just under 10,000 words for a website of this size with this many pages, which is pretty good because that still fits in with the Weglot status plan. So really affordable. Um, and what basically happens is once you start loading up these URLs, you need to load them up first in order for them to appear in your dashboard and just exploring around your site. Um, what that will do is add each URL here to the translating area. And then as you can see, I can click on any of these and it loads in the text including like the site title and things like that, including all buttons, the menu, and it gives you the ability to edit that language as well, what that trans... And it gives you the ability to edit what that language has been translated into. Now, obviously, if you're just offering lots of multiple translations because you want lots of different users from around the world to be accessing your site, then you might just want to leave the automatic translations as they are. I'm told they're very good quality. Obviously, it's hard to know without um, being proficient in that language yourself, but you could just leave them as they are. But in this client's case, she actually does speak Welsh. So she was then able to go through and just double check that all of the translations were correct and getting across the specific meaning that she wanted. So that is literally how easy it is to create a translated website in Squarespace with this awesome affordable tool. If you want to learn more, go ahead and check out the Weglot website. Use the link in my description. Again, it's an affiliate link, but I am very grateful if you do sign up using it because that does give me a bit of a kickback. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again next week with another video.